Hey guys, um, thanks for tuning in. I feel that this video is long overdue and that I didn't have a lot of proper training with you guys. So this is kind of like a training video and it would be really great if you could find a paper and a pen and just take some notes for the things that you find relevant um, for yourself in this video. Uh, there will also be a list of things I'm going to go through with you guys and I will need you to write the list down so that you can take it with you to your appointments and refer back to it as you need to until you memorize it. Um, and this is going to be a new mandatory systematic way of our cleaning and what we offer to just streamline and get a good understanding of what we are here to do. Uh, so please watch the whole thing. Some of this is going to apply to uh, some of you. A lot of it's going to apply to most of you. Some of you might be waiting for your part to come up, but this is all basic standard cleaning stuff and I'm learning, you're learning, and this video, like I said, is long overdue. If I could have a business meeting with all of you, I would rather do that, but availability is hard to come by, so here is our business meeting. <laughs> so please watch the whole thing and I've got a lot of gratitude for all of you for being so dependable and reliable and just amazingly communicative and open to learning. So I just want to say thank you to all of you. You guys are awesome and we are growing and the more that we grow and the more that we do things like, you know, uh, streamline our cleaning the the more business we're gonna get and once we get more business I can afford to m do raises you know when the time is right with you guys I want to make your hard work worth it so just bear with me and we're gonna we're gonna turn this into something awesome so thank you all so much for being a part of this um, I want our business to be different because I want to do the things that normal cleaners don't want to do. There is this whole sense of detachment that when someone comes and cleans your house, they're just the cleaning lady. And we don't want to be that. You guys are all special and unique and all of the clients that we have are special and unique and you are more than welcome to relate with them and establish your own relationship with them and have a friendship and be communicative. I want you guys to have a really open communication with the clients whether if you just have to do it yourself and open your arms up to it let them know that they can tell you what they're okay with what they're not okay with if they see something that needs to be done please welcome their their criticism in a way their their direction because each each client is different and it's always going to be different every time you go to someone's house. So being able to communicate with them really makes the job smoother and more fun and a happier place for everyone to be. You guys are welcome to exchange numbers with the clients and be friends with them. I have no problem with that. They're your clients too. So please open yourselves up to that and assume responsibility as their cleaning lady that they let into their house once or twice a month that they trust and that they feel like they can rely on and count on. Please, please open yourselves to that. Another thing I want to touch on is payment really quickly. I accept three modes of payment. The first, my preference is by check. They can make the check out to Lauren Courtney. They do not need to include my business name. Please make sure they don't include, include my business name. That is very important. Just my first and last name. Uh, the second mode of payment would be the square. They can call me over the phone and give me their card number. I do charge a 5% processing fee if you can let them know that if you remember. And the third mode, of course, is cash. I do not prefer cash, but if that's the only method that they have, then that is acceptable. Um, it would be preferable if they could put it in a sealed envelope. So just let them know that if you remember. And so the biggest lesson I'm learning that I need to convey to you guys, we're going to have a big switch up and this is what it is. I had been under the impression that certain things were deep cleaning and certain things were not deep cleaning. 
and that I needed to charge more for basic cleaning jobs that involve deep cleaning. So say you go clean someone's house and you clean the living room and the kitchen and the bathroom and the bedrooms and it's a basic cleaning and you do the floors and you just do what you need to do to get out of there as fast as possible, right? And make sure they're happy with it. Um, we're switching that up. That that's kind of what normal cleaning ladies do and we want to go a little bit more above and beyond and tailor it to their needs and you can use those words to communicate it with them we want to tailor the cleanings to their needs um, so no more will you be at a basic cleaning job basic house cleaning and clean someone's baseboards and get paid thirty dollars instead of twenty or will I charge $30 instead of 25 you won't be making um, $20 for deep cleaning and $15 for basic cleaning what the change is is that I'm gonna go to each place before you guys do and I'm gonna assess the space and I'm gonna see does this space need a deep cleaning or does it need a basic cleaning if it needs a deep cleaning I will let you know and you will be paid for a deep cleaning if it is a basic cleaning, I will let you know. And you will do light, deep cleaning things like the baseboards because they'll be easy. They're not going to be dirty like a deep cleaning would be. I'm going to use my discernment to let you guys know the level of cleaning. So if you catch my drift, um, we need to incorporate deep cleaning things into basic cleaning and not charge more for it because that is not standard and it confuses people. So now uh, for the second part of this video, this is going to be the list of things. There are mandatory things on this list that I want everyone to do every time they apply to um, all my different uh, types of cleaning. They apply to residential, Airbnb, and commercial cleaning so please take notes get your pen and paper and write some stars next to the things that are mandatory so you know what you need to look for each time and take this list with you uh, the first thing is mandatory and that is trash make sure you go from room to room and make sure there's that you get all the trash cans throughout the house and also check the laundry room make sure check shredders if there's a shredder and make sure you get all the trash Take it out to the garbage can and fill up all the trash bags for people. If you don't know where something is or you have a question, please, please ask. Don't waste time trying to figure it out. Just ask this one time and you're going to know how it goes the next time. So don't be afraid to communicate. The second thing is dishes. If you're cleaning someone's kitchen and you're noticing there's dishes in their sink, please do the dishes and put them in the drying rack. Or try to put them away if, if it's coming to you pretty clearly where everything's located and there's a couple dishes, dry them off and put them away too. Um, if they have dishes drying in their drying rack, that's something that when you're doing the walkthrough you can say, hey, do you want to have me put your dishes away from now on? That's something I can do if they're sitting in your dishwasher or in your drying rack. Let them know that that's an option for them. They may want it, they may not. The next thing is um, washer and dryer. I want to offer um, the opportunity for them to have their like loads of laundry started or finished or folded or hung up or whatever they want. Ask them, do you need any help with your laundry today? We do also offer the service if you want us to wash your bedding or whatever it is or fold your laundry. Do you want that? And you know, they may say yes, they may say no. But something I do want you to do every time, go ahead and write a star next to this, is I want you to check their lint trap in their dryer and make sure that there's no lint in the dryer. This is especially important for Airbnbs because people in Airbnbs will be pretty grossed out if there's lint in the lint dryer. So that is super, super important. Um, the next thing is beds. If you walk into a room and someone's bed isn't made, please make their bed. It's going to make them happy. The less they have to do, the more happy they're going to be with the job that you did. And it's the little things like that that make a big difference. So if you see an unmade bed, please make it. If you see laundry scattered in a room, pile it up 
or put it near the washer and dryer. Do what you can. Do what see, seems right. If you're seeing a mess, assess it and treat it like it's your house. Treat it like you're cleaning your house. I can't stress that enough. You will do such a better job if you just pretend that it's your house and what you would want done. Um, the next thing, if you're standing outside waiting for someone to open the door, look around you, see if there's spider webs and come back out with a broom later and just knock the spider webs down really quick. Um, same thing applies to back porches. Take a peek outside, see if their porch needs to be sweeped off in the front, swept off in the front or the back and just do that really quick. Like I said, the little things make a big difference. Now, this is really important for Airbnbs, uh, so please write a star next to it. <clears throat> you always want to check underneath the beds. That is something I want you to do every time, is to clean underneath the beds and make sure it's not dirty. You may not have to clean it, but make sure it's not dirty. Even just take your hand and see what's on your hand after you touch underneath the bed. Very important. People look under there and they'll write a bad review, so be aware of that. Uh, the next thing is to move furniture. This applies to all the all the jobs. So every now and then you may need to move someone's couch or their nightstand, but every time I want you moving their kitchen chairs out of the way and cleaning around the table. and Anything that's light enough for you to move, I want you to move it. Anything that you see you can vacuum underneath, I want you to vacuum underneath it. That is very important. It's something that doesn't need to be done every time in residential cleanings, but for Airbnb and deep cleaning, that's something that you want to do every other time, or for deep cleaning, it's something that you just do. The next thing is picture frames. This is really important that you dust the top of picture frames or anything that's on the wall that's decorative. It needs to be dusted. If you want to go the extra mile, take it off the wall if it's small enough, dust behind it, and dust the back of it clean the wall a little bit um, and then make sure you check the edges around mirrors and picture frames and make sure there's no dust on the edges um, so next thing um, th that would be like sliding glass doors I want you guys to if you see marks on a sliding glass door it takes a minute to just clean it so please clean sliding glass doors every time especially important for Airbnbs and residential and commercial that's just a big one check those sliding glass doors. Now the next thing is windows. That's, people don't usually have too big of a deal with their windows, but that is something that if you see it, you wanna communicate that during your walkthrough. You wanna say, oh hey, your window's dirty. Is that something you want me to get this time? Um, and then when you do the windows, you clean the window tracks as well, and you clean the frame around the windows if there is one, and you clean the uh, window sill as well. So just make sure you get all that done. And then this is the biggest thing. This is one of the first things I want you guys to do when you arrive at a house. Since we start cleaning from top to bottom, um, you guys need to hit the ceiling fans first with a Swiffer and you need to go around and hit all the spider webs, the corners of the walls, behind furniture, whatever you can manage every Every other time, if they don't get webs that bad, just make sure you, you go over their ceiling with a Swiffer and you get all the surfaces and just wipe their webs down, walk through their house, let it be the first thing that you do top to bottom. Uh, microwaves, fridges, and ovens need to be cleaned. Um, they need to be moved, especially like toasters need to be shaken out and cleaned and cleaned off. Microwaves need to be moved and cleaned underneath and the inside and then the handle very well. And the refrigerators, the tops need to be cleaned. And if you need to take stuff off the front of it to clean it, you can do that. Uh, the handles should probably be cleaned every time as well as the tops. Use your discernment. Um, the baseboards are important. Uh, that's normally a deep cleaning thing, but that's something that, like, if you notice there's spots on a baseboard, go ahead and scrub the spots off uh, if it needs it. Communicate it with the client and say, hey, your baseboards need it, your doors need it, your, your wall has spots on it. That's something I want you guys to focus on and communicate, be like, hey, today is a baseboards, doors, and a wall. 
cleaning and we'll get your outlets too and your light switches. That's something you can say, we're doing that this time. Next time we'll do windows and etc. So just figure out what works for you guys. And um, when you're vacuuming for the baseboards, go ahead and just take the hose attachment to the vacuum and go over the top of the baseboards. That's mandatory. I want that done every time because even in my own house, after a couple of days, I'll have dirt gather on my baseboards and it's really easy to just go over it with the vacuum hose. I already covered light switches and outlets. Please, for Airbnb, that's something you want to do every single time. The same thing with the outsides of the cabinets. Um, for residential, that's something you're going to ask about or say, I'm going to do cabinets this time and light switches and etc. Um, now, the shower door tracks, you guys need to clean the bottom of the shower door tracks. Um, that's something, if it's not done, check it out next time you go to your next appointment and do it. And the same thing with the top of the doors, there's usually a ledge at the top of the shower doors. Make sure you clean every angle of that ledge, especially the top and the sides of the ledge. Um, something you can ask the clients about is calcium buildup and their tile grout. The faucets sometimes can get some calcium buildup. What you can do is you can take a bag full of vinegar. You can ask them for a bag. A lot of the time they're happy to supply it. Say, hey, do you want me to soak your faucet in vinegar today while I clean? And before I go, I'll take the bag off and I'll just scrub it down and see how much calcium we can get off. Um, then with grout, make sure that's something you definitely want to ask people if you're noticing they have dirty tile grout. Say, hey, we can get this this time or next time, but I'm just noticing your grout is dirty and see what they want. Um, now another thing that easily gets overlooked are lights in the bathroom that are above the mirror. Um, those need to be regularly dusted off and a lot of the times they get really bad so you might even have to just jump up there and clean it instead of using a Swiffer. Once you clean it though, you can just go over it with a Swiffer. Get everything to square one. Um, then there are uh, fans, ceiling fans, which I already brought up, you want to check those and make sure they're not dirty every time. Nobody wants a dirty ceiling fan. And it's easy to go over it with a Swiffer if you've already recently cleaned it. It's just quick. It's maintenance. It's upkeep. That's basic cleaning. And the same thing with vents. You might have to, you know, use your discernment with the vents. If something's really dirty, say, this is going to take me a while. Do you want me to clean it today? But once it's done, I can just go over it with a Swiffer and it'll be done really fast. Um, and for blinds, that's something you just, you want to check in with people about. This whole thing is about communication. There are really easily standard things like trash and dishes and laundry vents and moving furniture. Those are all things that you can kind of figure yourself. And if someone just sees you going the extra mile and doing these things, even sweeping, sweeping off their porch, I'm going to get a good review from you, from them for you. And they're probably most likely to tip you if you're going the extra mile for them. We want to be the house cleaner that they never had. Clean their house like it's your house. Move underneath their furniture like you would do yours. You wouldn't vacuum and clean your whole house and then not move your furniture. I mean, you wouldn't not shake your rug out outside because the moment you go and you walk on that rug or move that chair, dirt's just going to move around your already cleaned floor. So treat this space like it's your own and, and clean it like it, it's your own and really connect into it and be present. And if any accidents ever happen, this is something I don't really like to think about firing people. <laughs> But this is the one thing that I think would make me fire someone and is it's if even if there's a small accident and it's not communicated, that's a big problem because if something goes wrong and then the person finds it later, that's a big deal. But if something goes wrong and we are transparent about it, it's I've had it happen a few times and it's only bad in my head. But when I go and I communicate it with them, I've never had someone upset at me because of something that I broke or an accident happened as long as I communicate it. 
And if you see something that needs to be fixed or if in Airbnbs, um, I want you guys to check all the light switches and make sure all the lights work, let me know if something isn't working or let your client know if something isn't working. That means we are really helping people with the maintenance of their house. And if we have suggestions for them, it's really cool if we can throw suggestions their way. If they need help organizing something, that is also something that we do provide, which is organization. And you can help someone organize something. You can even suggest to them, wow, your closet has a lot of clutter. Do you know we donate things? Do you know we sell things online? Because we do. So put that out there for people. We want to be the one-stop cleaning business. We want to handle everything for people. And I know this is a lot for you guys and it's a different mode and it's gonna take some practice getting good at it. And that's why I think it's important that you have these notes. If you need to go back and um, get the notes again, please have them at your next appointment because there's gonna be some quality checks coming up and I'm gonna check your guys' work. I'm gonna check in with the customers and make sure that they're happy with it and that they met the qualifications that I have delivered to you in this video. Another thing I want to add for commercial businesses, they give us specific things to do. Commercial businesses, the yoga center, the hair salon, and the dentist office, they want certain things done. And it almost seems funny to step outside of what they told you to do and do maybe one or two things extra that they weren't expecting, but that is going to be key. That is going to be something that gets us referrals and reviews and a good name. So if you see something that needs to be done, please, please do it. I don't care what kind of job you're doing. Assess the whole space, use your eyes. When you finish with a room, stand back and look at it, feel it, check the corners of the walls, check the surfaces of everything, make sure nothing's dusty, get it done right. And, um, it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off because we'll get more business and I can give raises and I can offer incentives. The better you guys do, the better things are going to be. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I am totally open to hearing from you guys if you have ideas for me as far as marketing or if you have clients that you'd like to refer me to and that you need business cards or if you have an idea for a promotion or you know, just any ideas you have, please communicate with me. I want to grow this and I want to be a team. I want to all work together. If there's any confusion here, please feel free to call me. If you need me to deliver this list to you one thing at a time over the phone so you can just write it down and this was too confusing, call me. I'll just straight up give you the list. Um, now, another thing too, really quickly I want to touch on is Facebook. I do all the advertising through Facebook right now. Uh, I have a couple places where business, my business cards are posted. If you have any ideas on that, please let me know and I'll give you cards and you can put them there. Um, but for Facebook, if you are an employee of mine and you have not already liked our Facebook page, you're doing not only yourself a disservice, but the whole business and your co-workers a disservice by not being engaged in what we're doing because if you can share these promotional posts and videos that I put out and these before and afters, you're going to draw your own friends in to the business and you may even be potentially able to go over to their house and clean for them. Then you're cleaning for your friend and you're getting more business and we're prospering and that's what we want here. So if you're so inclined, please share the promotional posts and videos. I do have a promotion running for June right now and I am paying to have it advertised, but you know, it never hurts to go and share that post. You're going to you're going to work wonders and not even know it. So, I think that's pretty much it for you guys. I really appreciate you listening. I know that this was a lot, so if you need to reach out to me to communicate more directly or you want to meet in person, I'm totally here for that. And thank you so much for just being patient and listening because I've remade this video so many times and I'm so sick of hearing myself talk at this point. I just need to deliver this information to you guys and thanks for bearing with me. I hope you all have a beautiful day wherever you are and 
love you, appreciate you, and look forward to making this better for everyone. Have a beautiful day and remember to connect with your clients and clean the space like it's yours. Put love and awareness into what you do and let me know if you need any supplies.